What's up guys, Sam here, welcome to Tech Today TV. The iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max models were launched last year, with the Apple A16 Bionic chip under the hood. The Cupertino company is largely speculated to equip this year's iPhone 15 Pro models with its new chipset, Apple A17 Bionic, as an improvement on its predecessor. A new leak sheds more light on Apple's next flagship chipset. The A17 Bionic sock is said to bring notable GPU improvements over the old chip. It could also embrace the 3nm processor technology by Apple supplier Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company TSMC. The A17 chip could feature a maximum clock speed of 3.70 GHz. A new leak by UNKNOWNZ21, at your editor, says Apple's new A17 Bionic sock includes six CPU cores and six GPU cores. The current A16 Bionic chip that powers iPhone 14 Pro models, includes 6 CPU cores and 5 GPU cores. The A17 Bionic sock is said to offer a maximum clock speed of 3.70 GHz, up from the 3.46 GHz clock rate of the A16 chip. This year's iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max were believed to come with 8GB of RAM. However, the tipster claims that the iPhone 15 Pro models will include only 6GB of LPDDR5 RAM just like their predecessors. Apple usually does not reveal the RAM configuration of its iPhone units. All models in the iPhone 15 series are said to come with Dynamic Island this year. The biggest iPhone 15 Pro Max versus iPhone 14 Pro Max changes will be the addition of a periscope zoom camera and the removal of the mute switch for the sake of an action button, both for the first time on an iPhone. The action button with accessibility, camera, flashlight, focus, magnifier, shortcuts, silent mode, translate, or voice memo functions could be similar to the one Apple has on its Watch Ultra, and the cases for the new iPhone 15 Pro line may look like this. Five years after flagship Androids got the goods, the iPhone 15 Pro Max Periscope Zoom Camera is still not expected to be up there with the best of them, at least as far as zoom levels and sensor resolution are concerned. At up to 6x optical zoom magnification, with a 12MP 1 3rd sensor and f2.8 aperture, Apple still needs to catch up to the 10x zoom of the Galaxy S23 Ultra, or the 50MP periscope zoom camera sensor of the Oppo Find X6 Pro which beats Samsung in low-light zoom photos. Apple is reportedly going to add sensor shift image stabilization, too, but we wait to see how it processes zoom shots before we make any conclusions based on hardware alone. The other big new iPhone 15 Pro Max feature will be the move to titanium for the frame instead of the stainless steel that Apple uses now on the Pro models. It will allow for much thinner bezels and a lighter phone, as, let's face it, the iPhone 14 Pro Max is quite a heavy and blocky chubster. Adding a periscope zoom camera kit and a larger 4852 ma plus 12% battery would have increased the 15 Pro Max's weight even further, so Apple had little choice but to lighten it up with more premium materials. Together, all these new hardware and design features are expected to raise the base price of the iPhone 15 Pro Max by at least $100. The smaller iPhone 15 Pro will have similar to the iPhone 15 Pro Max upgrades, action button, titanium frame, thinner bezels, bigger battery, new Apple A17 chipset, and USB-C port. Share your thoughts and comments below. I hope you found our content interesting, and if you did, please like and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.